What's up guys? So, it's been a week now. If you're new to the channel, so basically what happened was I, w my wife and I were living in Austin. Um, big off-roaders, big fans of just doing things outdoors and everything like that. Um, not so much the city life of Austin. But anyways, we were looking for our next step. We ended up, uh, I got an opportunity to move to Denver, and so I took it. And um, uh, following up with the, the culture of our lifestyle and everything, it just it was, it was a good fit for us. Um, logistically, it's been absolute chaos, to be perfectly honest, trying to make it here. But what, what we ended up doing was, since we still have a house in Austin, obviously having two mortgages and everything is, is extremely difficult for us anyways. I picked up an RV, I sold my I sold my Jeep that I was just building up, the newest rig, and I picked up a 1993 FZJ80 Land Cruiser, and um, basically started wrenching on that. I got all the videos, if you want to follow along with that part and um, basically got it ready. Haven't even done anything um, cosmetically or just uh, to make it more uh, capable at all because you know the, the whole purpose of getting that ready was for um, to tow this rig up here and go from there. So I picked up a 22 foot Micro Mini 2108 TB which is twin bed model. So it's been, it's been phenomenal and picked up that, uh, that Land Cruiser. And basically decided, all right, I'm going to come up to Colorado. We're going to come up to Denver, and I'm going to get situated. And then as soon as our house sells, or or you know we get everything squared away, Shay's going to come up here as well. So that's where we're at. At this point, I've been living in this for a week, and I just kind of wanted to give everyone an update. Thank you all for following along. Thank you for subscribing. Everything has been um, it's been interesting. It's been an adventure. If you don't know, it's me and my five and a half month old little Rottweiler puppy. His name is Moose. He's been a he's been an absolute trooper on this whole adventure. So he's met so many dogs, so many people. His training's really coming along, so I'm able to really fine tune my time with him. Um, he kind of just likes to hang out in here. So, anyways, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update, show you what's going on, show you what I've I've liked and disliked about the RV, anything that's come up, any quirks like that, and just kind of kind of give you a little insight on an update on how everything's coming along. So, uh, let's get into it. So if you haven't seen the walk around video, this is the setup. So this is basically two twin beds that combine and actually make a king size bed, which is huge. So if you're looking for something like this, it's actually a really cool model. This floor plan, we picked it up specifically because of this capability and it was very popular. It just came out. Underneath here is all storage. It's interior and exterior accessible. And then you have some overhead storage right there, which I've been using for my phone, charging my, the, the, Okay, all right, get it out. Um, charging the camera, charging my watch, that sort of thing. And then up here, I just use for basic clothes. So t-shirts, pants, um, underwear, socks, that sort of thing have all been kind of going up there. I haven't used this curtain. Don't really open the windows too much. Depending on where you are, you might be right next to another RV or something like that. So your window views aren't always the best. I'm at a park. Um, it was the best place I could get. It's super expensive. That part has been really rough. Um, but I'll get into that more later. So anyways, I opened them up yesterday. Nice breeze and everything like that. So that part's cool So entrance door has a little screen Moose loves hanging out right here in this area. Oh, there's sprawl out over here I keep his water bowl in this section. It's worked out so far One thing I will note is this actually got a leak the first uh, I think it was the first night I plugged in and I started to notice water pooling up right there and pulling up over here so I ended up taking that cabinet apart, taking this cabinet apart, and I found the water dripping out of one of these hose lines, and it was just a loose fitting. So once I tightened it up, everything has seemed good so far. So that's all good now, but I did have my first leak. Um, like I said, ignore the sub-up. Sink and everything's worked great. I got hot water, cold water, all that stuff works really well. Um, stove, I have not used this yet. I just haven't. I used this actually for the first time yesterday to microwave some pizza. I did have an issue with my fridge, it, and I saw a yellow blinking light up over there, and I didn't take notice of it, and I thought it was just saying it was working, but it was actually a warning light, and the fridge had turned off, so it was off actually for like, I want to say 24 hours. Luckily, I don't have much in here. It's literally just Gatorade, water, a couple leftovers. This is like true bachelor life right here. I, I have, <laughs> have like some jelly, a thing of peanut butter, and like a Pop-Tart, so... Needless to say, without Shay, I am I am helpless without food. There's absolutely nothing in the freezer either. So I need to get squared away. Again, I'm just trying to figure things out. This model did come with a, a slide out. So I kind of use this as my workspace area. 
and then I have the TV set up right there. So I have a Mac Mini, and I got it specifically because I was really hoping to be able to plug it into anything. I didn't want to have to carry a Big Mac system or anything like that. A Big Mac system, that's funny. So if you're not familiar with the Mac, the little Mac, it is just a small console, and I tuck it right there, have it hooked up to an external hard drive, and then you HDMI it to any screen. So I have just a basic, I think it's like a, one of these Logitech wireless keyboards and mouse, and I hook it up straight to the TV there. So I can use this to edit now. I had a lot of problems with finding out how to get the video footage uploaded because my Wi-Fi just sucked, and that's why you guys saw a delay in the videos, just because the internet's super slow. So I think I have it figured out now, and I'll be able to upload videos again more consistently. Down here I got some storage. This one I use for, I have a bunch of snacks Shay hooked me up with. So I have water in here, toiletries, paper towels, that sort of thing. This has an access door just like this one. And then this part all comes up and you can access it through the top as well. This one over here I keep shoes, jackets, and just items that I may or may not need all the time. But I can access them real quick. Little go bag up there. And... A little air freshener and obviously some snacks over there. Obviously, again, back to the point of me not cooking or anything like that. So I'm working on it. Okay, upper storage. This one I use for hats, um, just basic things that I don't always need. That little cubby right there is just your electronics and everything, so there's not much in there. Trash I keep in there. These, again, there's a common theme here, if you haven't noticed. I have all of these snacks. And luckily, Shay gave me this food. So I do have food here. There is food. I've just been really fortunate. My dad came up for a little while, so uh, for work. So I was able to go out to eat with him a couple times. And then work has been providing me lunch. So that's been really helpful. Up there. What do I have up there? I don't think I have anything up here, to be honest. I don't even have anything in there. That's ridiculous. There's a whole, look at all that storage in there. There's just a remote. I need to do some stuff with that. So I'll use that. This right here, radio, haven't used that at all. There is an awning on this side, but honestly, we're a little too close. I'll do an exterior walk just to kind of let you know the setup over here. I haven't used it. There's really nothing to put out over there. So it's not really like a hangout zone. Um, I'm, I'm in kind of a funky spot, so it doesn't really necessitate being able to do stuff like that. Um, one of my biggest quirks with RV parks so far is that I'm paying the same as someone with a, a bigger trailer in the same thing. So whether you're 22 foot, there's a 40 foot next to me and I think we're paying the same. So that's kind of a, a quirky thing, which is fine, I get it. If you're in a bigger one, it's a good deal. If you have a small footprint like me, you're kind of losing out a little bit. Hold on, sorry. There we go, all right, so. Yeah, Moose farted again. There's not a lot of ventilation here unless you have the windows open, so it becomes a, a fart box when this little guy starts dumping the fumes, so. Anyways, he doesn't care. So yeah, so that's kind of my one little quirk with that. Let me continue my tour and I'll get into some other things. So right now, this kind of takes up a lot of floor real estate. However, I only have it because he's still a puppy. He's almost six months old. I might try and let him actually stay out tonight and just kind of run around. But for just um, my peace of mind, he is crate trained. I'm, I'm Like I said, his training's coming along really well. And he... I just have them sleeping in there for now. So eventually I'll break this down, put it in storage underneath here, and this whole workspace will be open. So there could be room for uh, Sloan and Moose at the same time. Molly will just hang out somewhere over there. But this takes up a lot of real estate for now, and I specifically have it out because he's a puppy and everything. I do have him a little bed. Sometimes I'll put this down there too. So this floor space is pretty much all Moose's real estate. I let him just kind of take over all this, run around, and it's plenty of room. He's usually sleeping here anyways. We go outside so much that now that he's always pretty much pooped. Bathroom, pretty basic. Stainless steel sink. Obviously, it's got some toothpaste stuff in there. It's clean, I promise. It just, the reflection's all weird. There's no toilet paper holder. I actually found one, but it's not mounted anywhere. And I haven't figured out where I would mount it. So I just kind of leave the roll over there. Got my toothpaste, a little mirror there. I hang up all my work shirts here, like 20 black shirts and like three plaid ones. So just kind of use that for basic that. Basic hanging storage. A lint roller, some extra hangers, so that's what I think. Down there is actually where I keep Moose's dog food. Works out perfectly because it keeps everything kind of confined. I actually don't think I have anything in here either. 
So that's good. I got more space there. So I do have space. I mean, I have I have available real estate. And just a shower there. So that's kind of the setup back here. One little random quirk. So the heater puts out in two places. One right here and one right here. I haven't decided if leaving this door open or closed works better. But it does vent out right there. Works extremely well. That reminds me I need to refill one of my propane bottles because I'm out. So good note because it gets cold at night here. Okay, let me see if I can show you outside real quick. There's a lot of people running around and it's Easter, so I'll film everything as much as I can and kind of show you what I got going on. Um, again, I'm kind of in a weird niche location in the back corner, but I'll show you what I'm working with. I really need my motorcycle here. I'm ready to go off-road. I'm, go I'm gonna go to the Harley dealership today, try and find me a Colorado hat. I've been rocking this Texas one and I need to assimilate. I'm not trying to upset any Colorado natives. I just want to, you know, enjoy this state as much as you do. I'm not trying to change anything. I'm not trying to make this in Texas or California. I want to keep this Colorado the same way you have it. So embrace me just as much as I'm embracing you, right? Is that a thing? So this is the setup. Got the rig up here. Camper's back there. Making my own little power steering fluid spot right there. That's kind of fun. That's the rig. And the setup over here. I got like a mountain over there, which is cool. But on this side, there's like this warehouse. Back over here, see what I'm saying about the awning? There's not really a spot to open that up. Kind of keep this just backed up here. Stabilized, but there's like this weird warehouse thing back here. So that part kind of sucks, but it doesn't bother me any. It's just there. So yeah, awning wise, I can't really pull this out very much. So that doesn't really work. Got my gas tanks. Little dump station there. My kick out. And water, sewer, all that good stuff on this side. Electrical. And that's the setup. Yeah, I'm back. He went crazy. I can hear him whimpering every time I go outside. I usually bring him with me all the time, but I didn't want him running around. So, anyways, that's my setup. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll show you more detail, but that's kind of just how I have everything set up and how it's working for me. Again, I'm only a couple days in. I'm about a week in. Still trying to figure things out. Still trying to make things work. Um, some other quirks. So, right now, my initial plan was to stay here until the end of May and then basically from there go to a state park and boondock out there. Now, I had originally had a trip planned to Pennsylvania next week because of training and whatnot, and it got pushed into May. So I ran into an issue where I don't mind leaving the RV here because it's an RV park, it's situated and everything like that. I kind of have a problem with leaving it at the state park for a couple of days because obviously I'm not there, no one's really watching it, and I didn't want to just leave my RV there for about five days. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. So I'm running into a predicament because I want to keep doing this lifestyle and I want to keep living at the RV park. But this place right here is just so expensive. And to be honest, I, I can't afford to just keep living here every day. It ends up being about $1,500 a month. So with that being said, like staying here, it was supposed to be the less expensive option. Um, and then because obviously the house payments and everything else I got rid of the Jeep to get rid of a payment We're trying to free up some money because it's just you're whenever you move anywhere. You're just expun Expunging you're just expunging a lot of funds in all different places to try and make things work And so until our house sells I'm kind of in that same situation So I'm trying to figure out what the best option is The ultimate goal and I know a lot of you guys are thinking this would be to find a long-term place the problem is Denver has so many places right now that are just completely packed and filled up so there's there's no long term everyone has like wait lists and everything like that if you were to hop on one of those i think the the stay fee for like a month is is average about 750 plus utilities which is great that's not very much at all and i'm paying twice that here so while this is a, a decent place and it's a place to park and everything it's just so expensive and I, i'm just i'm just not sure i'm going to be able to afford to stay here like i was going to so that puts me in the predicament for the, the state park and everything like that. Second thing about the state park is that you every 13 days you have to leave the park for 24 hours and then you can come back. So every 13 days I'd have to go try and find a dump station anyways, um, try and refill on water and try and do all that stuff 
and then find somewhere to stay overnight and then move back in, which is kind of annoying in itself. So I'm highly considering um, finding a room for rent and just staying in someone's place for the remainder of, um, for the next couple, like two months while I'm waiting for Shay to come unless the house sells. So that's not kind of our end all be all is end of June. So that's where I'm at. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Again, I would stay here, wouldn't be a problem. It's just, it's just too much money and I'm just like expunging funds. So it might be the best option to store the RV for two months until Shay gets here, rent a room and then do that route or figure things out. So I don't know, still trying to figure all that out, but that's kind of thought processing. Again, transparency is a big thing with us. So that's just the reality of, of how it is. Outside of that, everything's been going well. Um, I'm really excited about this. This works. It works out really well for Moose and I. I think with uh, Shay here, um, the other two dogs, we could absolutely keep making it work. Um, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Obviously, it'd be great to have more space. I'm not stupid to that. Um, it definitely, a bigger rig would be a lot easier, but I think this is doable and manageable after staying in it for a week. Oh, I did want to mention this. So I'm going to do a video about this, but we are on Patreon now. I have mixed opinions about that. At this point, anything possible helps. Just you guys watching our videos helps a lot. So I appreciate that so much. All you guys have been following along, everyone who's been helping us out with support and everything, I appreciate it. You guys are help, extremely helpful because, I mean, you know, it is what it is. After logistically trying to make everything work to get here and then staying here with my pup, you know, it's nice to have positive comments and everything like that because it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, this was extremely difficult to make happen to even to get here. It's been a lot of work, a lot of effort, as you guys have seen. Uh, it's been a huge process. So before this video ends up being like 30 minutes long, I just want to wrap up with that. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of you and your support. If you give me a thumbs down, just let me know why. I'd appreciate that, but you probably didn't watch this whole video anyways. So thank you guys again, and uh, I'll keep trucking along. I'll keep you guys posted. And if you guys have any questions or want to see something different or just want to know what's what, just, just let me know. I'll, uh, I'll help out as best I can. All right, thanks.